Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of AFC Wimbledon, the Wimbly Womblies. And in a stunning turn of events, it is raining in England. Today we are taking on Barry. Burry? 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 Bu Bu Bury? Bury? Um, we're going to win. We're going to win because we're starting John Green and John Green up front, teammates in life and in love, and because we're starting Lizzie Bennett all the way back there in the back. Um, and she is an absolute force when it comes to protecting the left wing. All right, uh, today's video is about the top 10 scandals of 2013, at least according to Time Magazine. Um, uh, now, I, I think this is somewhat delegitimized de by the fact that Rob Ford isn't um, even on the list, when in fact he should be at least um, numbers one through seven. Uh, I'm completely fascinated by Rob Ford, mostly because um, it's one of those weird situations where people should be saying, um, you need to get help, and instead they're saying, maybe we will re-elect you the mayor of Toronto. Uh, I, I always find that interesting. Oh, you know what else I find interesting? Oh! No, what's up, Meredith? Oh, he is, he is on the list. All right. But he's not number one, which I think is low. I think he's, I think he's low. What, what is the list? Oh, Justin Bieber went to a brothel in Brazil. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I, I, the surprise there is not that Justin Bieber went to a brothel, but that Justin Bieber... Well, it is. I mean, I've never really understood the allure, I have to say, because I'm... So, well, I'm a very health-conscious person. I'm, a very, I'm, I'm pretty hypochondriacal. And, um, yeah, it just seems like a really good way to get chlamydia, uh, which seems horrible. Like, it just seems really unpleasant. So I don't know. That's, that's my main thought about Justin Bieber. But that's also why I wouldn't sleep with Justin Bieber. You know, like, I'm terrified. I, I just don't want to get chlamydia. Uh, I, 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 you know, I know that it's curable and everything. I just don't want to. I just, ugh. I'm just being perfectly honest with you here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, Justin Bieber's growing up, and this is always what, this happens 100% of the time. Like, it, 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 it screws you up pretty badly. I think fame in general screws you up pretty badly because y you lose perspective and um, it becomes really difficult to, like, internalize uh, like, it becomes really difficult to, like, think of yourself uh, in any kind of even quasi-objective way. It becomes really difficult not to be narcissistic. And then also I think that there's a... It's, it's, it's really difficult to, like, feel like you're worth anything. Um, I, 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 that's cer certainly not a problem reserved to famous people, but, like... I, I think, like, the thing that people kept asking about the whole Justin Bieber going to a brothel thing was, like, oh, why is Justin Bieber... Justin Bieber could get laid any time he wants. And, like, that's kind of true and kind of not. Like, it is true in a sense. In another sense, um, he probably doesn't feel, like, worthy of those um, encounters or relationships, and he probably doesn't feel like they're really about... You know, that, that it's really how people feel about him. It's how people feel about his, his celebrity, which probably at this point feels pretty distant from him. And I don't know. I think that would kind of suck. So, anyway. Thank God I'm married. That's the long and short of it. Uh, what's, uh, what, was the, what was the ninth biggest scandal of 2013? Oh, Reese Witherspoon. Got, didn't she get... She got arrested because her husband got a DUI and she's screaming at the cops or something? I don't know why that's a scandal. I mean... What, it, what about Reese Witherspoon implied that she wasn't the kind of person who would, like, get drunk and go, uh, you know, scream at, scream at police officers? I don't know. I think, um, yeah, I mean, the main takeaway uh, for me from that is don't, uh, don't get a DUI. Um, and the best way to not get a DUI is to call a cab. It's not that hard. It's easier and easier in this world of apps and everything. And also, if you're at a bar... They'll call a cab for you. Go to sleep wherever you want to be. Not because you don't want to get a DUI, but because you really, really, really do not want to kill someone. You don't want to kill the passenger in your car. You don't want to kill yourself. You just do not, you do not want that. It is not, not something that is easy to live with. So that's what I, well, who's offside? This referee's full of it. I guess it was a little bit offside. You know, the Wimbly Womblies were on an amazing run, and then recently we just haven't been the same club. Um, it started when I started starting the B team, but I did that because I was trying to rest our best players, and now everybody's tired because we just we don't have a very deep squad. Um, pretty soon we're going to have to be starting Jack Art, who's only a 51 skill level. Uh, what was the next, next biggest scandal? Oh, Julianne Huff's blackface? Don't do blackface. 
That's a pretty simple one. Yeah, I mean, that's it's super, 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 super racist. Um, what's next? <laughs> I don't know what else. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> like, that's a that should be a scandal. What's next? Uh, Beyonce lip syncing the national anthem to me not a scandal. Uh, is that was it? What, what, when did she lip sync the national anthem at the president's thing? Yeah, the inauguration. Can you believe the inauguration happened this year? I keep being like, how much longer is Obama going to be president for? Is his second term almost over? It just started. This is his first year. It's crazy. I mean, the, the, the speed of, like, political discourse in this country is just astonishing. Like, we can change overnight. Do you like how I keep dribbling the ball out of bounds? Is that a nice touch that I do? Is that a nice thing? That I, is that a pleasant thing to watch, Wimbly Wombly supporters? Are you like, oh, man, I'm so grateful to John for constantly dribbling the ball out of bounds? Sorry, I'm a little annoyed with myself. It's halftime. It's nil-nil. What is this? The Swoodly Poopers? Ah, that's ten bucks. Ten bucks to the AFC Wimbledon. Wimbly Wombly. Sponsored foundation. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Of course she lip-synced at the inauguration. It's a, it's a rather large room, and there, it was windy and loud and cold, and I don't know. To me, that isn't a story. I, I thought it was a beautiful rendition of the national anthem, and I was not at all scandalized by her, her lip-syncing. Um, you know, it, it's better to have, it's better to sound good, uh, than it is to sound live. Like if there's some pr reason that you can't sound good, um, then you've got to, you know, then I, I get it. That said, anybody as far, like I'm, I'm also of the Beyonce is right hundred percent of the time, no matter what camp. So like, I'm going to defend Beyonce pretty much in every situation. You got to get to your husband. Oh, it was a beautiful release, but Frankenstein was not the guy. The guy we needed in that situation was Bald John Green. I don't want to criticize Frankenstein, but he's missed a lot of opportunities. I feel like Bald John Green's been hanging back just a little bit. He's trying to get possession too much, and then he's trying to do it all by himself too much. Those are, as you guys know, I've been, I, I've been a little critical of Bald John Green. Um, I just feel like he hasn't, been, he hasn't been the guy we need. That said, he does have 14 goals in like 12 games. So, All right, what's next, Meredith? Oh, the mayor of San Diego's sexual harassment thing, Bob Filner. Yeah, I mean, again, like that. I, I, what was phenomenal about that, or, or sort of um, in the sense that it was it was a phenomenon, um, was seeing uh, seeing uh, him defend himself slash people defend him when it was clear there was an overwhelming, you know, and it was like, oh, there are all these all the time people accuse people of sexual harassment because of because they are just trying to get attention for themselves or try to win a lawsuit. But, like, it, I mean, that's, that's like, just the patriarchy at work. Um, there's a mayor. They have a mayor. They're, they have a player named D. Mayor. His name's De Mayor. Hmm. I'm jealous. I want De Mayor. So, um, yeah, I think that it's, it's like, pretty unambiguously, uh, like, he was, he was unambiguously... Sex, sexually harassing his employees, and I mean, not like, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty sickening stuff. Um, but what fascinated me was the support, the the support that he had, and and I think he ended up keeping his pension even in his retirement. It was ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, I I was I was scandalized and and, and a little bit horrified that like that that there's that still that level of support for like, oh, Seb Brown. Um, Still that level of support for people who are clearly, um, you know, they don't just need to be removed from office. They're guilty of crimes. All right, what's next? Lance Armstrong uh, doping. Not a scandal to me because anybody who follows cycling has known for like 10 years that Lance, Ar Lance Armstrong was doping during every single uh, Tour de France win that he ever had. And, uh, I mean, the reason, the scandal is that uh, it took till 2013 um, and, and eventually, I mean, the reason that he confessed was for legal reasons. It became, like, legally impossible for him to go on with his... Oh! oh! He's big, he's tough, he has a brilliant puff. Other John Green, other John Green. Just when it was looking like it was going to be a standard nil-nil draw, who comes through with a very weak shot that is nonetheless strong enough? It's other John Green. Oh, he's a good husband. He's a good man. One day I hope he's going to be a good father. But he is a great football player. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm a cycling fan, and so it was 
clear, I think it was clear to anybody who follows cycling at all, just looking at the times of like the climb up Alpe d'Huez, for instance, before and after they got serious about doping, that Armstrong had to be doping. And not just that he was doping, but that like, you know, pretty much everyone in the top, you know, 15 or 20 was. It's interesting, like a couple of those uh, Tour de France um, trophies, they're never going to be able to find anyone to give it to because everyone in the top like 40 tested positive for doping. Um, so, but that's not an excuse, particularly because Lance Armstrong always portrayed himself as a victim of this mass conspiracy when in fact it became clear that he was he he was the head of a mass conspiracy, a mass conspiracy to, to put doping in. Oh, John Green to John Green. John Green's John Green's ball. Another John Green's. They're the best forwards that Wimbledon has ever seen. Look at that. I mean, that's just a man who loves his husband, who crosses the ball to his husband, and then his husband finishes. It's so beautiful. I mean, it's just that's it's, it's everything that's beautiful about soccer distilled into one fluid movement. Um, people say that this is not a beautiful game or that, or that I, uh, league, league two soccer isn't, isn't gorgeous. Um, and I'll admit that sometimes, you know, sometimes it's a little sloppy, like the quality of the pitch isn't always there. I get it. I get what you guys are saying, but like when those two men who care so much about each other and their club, when they get together on a cross like that, it really, it really is beautiful. Oh, I mean, look at, look at John Green. He's just so tough. We got a corner out of it. You know, we never score from corners anymore, Meredith. It's a little frustrating. Let's get it! Oh, I was trying to do that to score from a corner, but it didn't work. What was the what was the fifth biggest scandal? Or fourth, or wherever we are. Rob Ford, we already talked about that. Plus, the video's over, and we emerge victorious! Look at that beautiful ginger. God. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.